Well, welcome back to another episode, and uh, we're actually back in Jersey. Uh, been here for the last like couple days. Had to come back to uh, go to a bachelor party for uh, one of my high school buddies. Uh, huge shout out to Reggie. If you end up watching this video, and congrats. And uh, then as well as my parents are, well, actually just sold their house up here in North Jersey, and I think have to be moved out like late August, mid August or so. So uh, I came back to just kind of help speed up the process with getting rid of some things in the house and uh, figured, you know, why not uh, come down to the shore today and launch the kayak and get out and actually try and see if we can get on a fluke bite today. Might also be some bluefish around, you know, we'll see, maybe some small stripers, but yeah, if we can go out today and uh, get on a limit of fluke uh, or flounder, whatever you want to call them, uh, that'd be pretty sweet. So stay tuned, let's get this kayak in the water and uh, I'll see you guys out there on the spot. Let's uh, get after them. I'm not really sure exactly where we're gonna end up to start, but I want to uh, go out with the end of the outgoing tide and uh, see where we end up and you know fish at least half of the incoming and then ride the rest of the incoming back to the launch here later on. And also before I forget, a huge shout out to Ridge for sponsoring today's video. And uh, you guys have probably heard me mention them in some of my past vids now over the last like couple weeks. And uh, they are a great product or gift to uh, possibly give a loved one, a buddy, or your father with Father's Day coming up. And uh, I've had my Ridge now for two or three years or various different ones. And I've also given my old ones to friends and family and they uh, loved them. And uh, after this video, I'm actually, I, I'm gonna have a brand new one to uh, do a giveaway to and you know one of you guys will be lucky enough to win a brand new Ridge wallet so be sure to hit the like button subscribe button to stay tuned when I um, you know post that video and do the giveaway oh all right well here's what we got going on we are nowhere near where we launched it's almost 2 30. So uh, basically almost an hour later since we launched and uh, I basically kayaked out of the bay and onto the ocean side and we've gone probably about three miles, I would say, a little over <laughs> three miles. And uh, I did that because uh, I wanted to go the extra mile because I'm filming a video. If I wasn't filming a video, I probably would have just stayed near the launch and fished the spot and hope that the fluke are biting there. But uh, you guys are pushing me to go the extra mile, <laughs> literally. And uh, we're gonna start here on the ocean side. And uh, as this tide starts to come in, which it actually already has because of this south wind, uh, you know, turning it around quick and blowing it in, uh, we'll basically start here and kind of short drift our way back to the launch and fish everywhere in between and hopefully find ourselves a uh, three 18 inch uh, keeper fluke and i got a half ounce little bucktail here and a uh, chartreuse four inch gulps as well as some pearl white and i think i'm going to start with some pearl white and uh, see how this color fares us and this should look like a pretty juicy little bite-sized morsel There's a fish on the cast. Uh, what do we got? Oh no, Z Robin. Uh, well, hey, it's all right. We gotta start somewhere. Now all we can do is go up from here, hopefully. There's a fish. 
Oh my gosh, it's a, it's a bluefish. Not what I wanted. Oh man. Please don't cut us off. Looks like we hooked them right on the edge of the nose. Oh, I only got a 20 pound leader. First decent fish of the day, and <laughs> the reason he didn't get any, anywhere close to the leader is we got him right on the end of the nose. Perfect hook set, but he's like destroying this bucktail. Well, hopefully the next one will be uh, a fluke. Don't tell me that's another blue fish. Oh man. A lot of blues right here. <clears throat> Good eating size one. But we're after the fluke. Ugh. All right, well, we're gonna move in with the current, go through this rip here, and uh, up inside, like on the edge of where the ocean meets the bay. All right, let's give it a try here. It looks like we have a lot less current and where we started because of the wind, like that tide just started coming in and boom, we started drifting like two, two and a half miles an hour. So it made it a little challenging to really uh, fish this bucky effectively along the bottom. So I'm hoping we can do it here and possibly just find a couple fluke. There's a fish, it might be the right one. Oh yeah, hey. Finally, found herself a shorty. Got him right in the end, tip of the nose. All right, I guess we made the right call by coming here. Not a big one, but it's a start. See ya. All right, well, I'm gonna put on a new four inch Berkeley Gulp Grub. We'll try another pearl white, cause that, you know we just caught a fluke with that uh, combo we've got on. And uh, you know, maybe after a couple more fish, we'll try the chartreuse, you know, see which one catches better. All right, back in action. Losing a little bit of hair on this bucky because of the blues, but since we just got one, we'll keep throwing this presentation and see if we can do it again. Put it in front of a couple more, but hopefully it'll be 18 plus inches. Fish on, that didn't take long. As soon as it got to the bottom. All right, a little bit bigger. Found a little sweet spot of some fluke. Just for the heck of it, we'll measure this one. So we got an idea of how much further we gotta go. Well, this one's surprisingly like just under 17. So an inch left to go. And we'll uh, have some dinner for the table to feed the fish. There's one. They're stacked right at like 19 feet of water, these little guys. This is like a cute one. The power of a fluke in the palm of my hand. There's one. That feels a little heavier. Ah, another short. All right, so we're gonna go up for another drift, but I wanna make a slight modification to our presentation because uh, this bucktail we're using is, you know, not looking so good. It's all, you know, beat up and chewed up 
from the bluefish still and I feel like we could just make it a better profile if we tied on say just a bare jig head like this half ounce SNS fishaholic jig head and then we are going to try switching to the chartreuse grub and we'll just thread this baby on all by itself. All right, let's give that a try. There he is. That didn't take long. He's got some decent weight to him. Ugh, I don't know why he felt bigger than he actually is, but that's probably another maybe like 16 and a half maybe 17 and he spit up some food looks like a little shrimp yeah. oh just missed one come on come on i'm gonna drop it right back down to him come on eat it again eat it again buddy come on come on come on that last one i let him like really eat it so look i got another one on there there he is <laughs> I felt him, you know, eat the tail, and then I kind of gave him an extra second to eat it a little bit more. This one's got some weight to him. Oh, uh, this one might be close. We're going to put him in the net. All right, get a quick measurement on this guy. Another 17 incher. Almost there. See ya. All right, this time we drop down with the bear jig head. Let's try a white grub just to give him some variety down there. And who knows, maybe the 20 plus incher wants a white grub. And we'll probably fish this for a little bit longer. And then I'm thinking maybe switch to this three-quarter ounce Spro. There he is. That was like instantaneously with the white grub. Another close one. Nah, probably another 17 incher. I'm gonna give him a measure anyway, just in case. Ooh, getting closer, like 17 and a half. Ooh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at that line, that's all rain coming at me. No! Oh man, oh shit, oh man.
Position. I just came out of the shower. Woo. There's one. Finally. Had to had to work for this bite here. Eh, another short too. Feels like a nice fish. Oh, please be a keeper. Please be a keeper. Oh, man. It's gonna be close and he's barely hanging on. Oh, look at that. Jig popped right out. Probably gonna be another 17 incher. <laughs> Actually 16. Oh, there he goes. All right, well, that uh, rainstorm really shut off that fluke bite. And in like the last hour, we probably had five or six dozen more bites and uh, only two more shorts and like a sundial because they were coming up and eating the bait. And even if you let them take it for a little bit longer, they were just grabbing the tail. They were not eating the entire bait like they were uh, when we first uh, found that bite. They were just, and we would set the hook and you would just have rake marks in the tail of the grub. So that's just the way it goes and probably something to do with the pressure change. And also it is uh, seven o'clock now. High tide was at 640. It stopped raining at like six o'clock. So uh, we were on the decreasing end of the incoming tide and uh, that can really turn off the, the fish as well. So uh, it is what it is. We're going back uh, to the launch, I guess, uh, hungry and uh, driven to get back out the next time and uh, get some fluke uh, for the table. And after today, we'll be back out in Montauk. So I'll be taking the kayak out or the Fishaholic rig out for some fluke uh, for sure. So be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button to stay tuned for when I upload those videos. And I've also got uh, some really other cool ideas uh, for some new content uh, this summer, like uh, taking the ferry to Block Island and, you know, quiet cat biking and fishing all over the island. And then also maybe ferrying to Rhode Island and, you know, traveling around and making some content up there. And that, that'll be really interesting because I haven't been to Rhode Island in like four or five years now nah, no four years probably but you know for some of you you know that uh that's kind of like where i started the fishaholic fishing channel um and i didn't intentionally do it it was just by, kind of by accident I, I was making the vids just to show my pops and i was making them public while i was in college and you know a lot of you guys started tuning in and enjoying them so i kind of just kept the ball rolling and uh that's where the ch why, why the channel is where it is at today but anyway i'm gonna quit talking i am absolutely starving and uh I'm tired from fighting the current and you know, doing a lot of drifts today, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and like always, live the fish, fish to live.